You are listening to The Andrew and Troy Show. Andrew, every Friday here on The Breakfast Show, we invite the editor of Star Observer magazine, Ilias Jarshan, on the, onto the show to chat about the week's wrap-up of LGBTI news. Ilias, welcome to the show. Hi, guys. How's it going? Doing well this, this, this early hour of the morning. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Always up for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, good news. Uh, this month's Star Observer is out on the streets nationwide. Uh, what, yep. what's, what's in this month's edition? Uh, well, our cover story is um, a, a rare one-on-one interview with the U.S. ambassador to Australia, John Berry. Um, as most of us know, John Berry is um, openly gay. And he's the first uh, openly gay uh, ambassador from the U.S. with appointed to one of the G20 nations. Yep. Um, so it's a pretty big deal. And um, he was just talking about how his, his time so far in Australia and, and talking about how his marriage to um, Curtis and, um, and also his hopes for the marriage equality success in America with the impending uh, Supreme Court ruling uh, that could possibly make uh, marriage equality a nationwide thing in America. Awesome, wow. awesome. What- and... Um, yeah, there's, there's, another, there's some other important stories as well. Um, probably the, one of the most important, important stories we've ever published in this edition is about um, domestic violence in same-sex relationships um, and with the, whole, with the with debate uh, rising around the country regarding family and domestic violence, uh, we thought it would, we thought we'd take the opportunity to talk about how domestic violence also exists in the same-sex relationship and how there's a lack of understanding, even recognition of that happening in the community yeah. and the mm-hmm. fact complete lack of resources and complete lack of help out there for people who are victims of same-sex relationship uh, violence. Um, yeah, it's, just one, it's one of the most important stories we've, we've ever written, uh, we've, ever, we've ever published, and we hope that, you know, when people read it, we hope it sparks some discussion and debate because we do believe that we need to combat the stigma and raise awareness. Of course. Of course. And, of course, one of my favourite stories is about uh, the, the, the porn stars. In the, in <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, we've, got, <laughs> we've got a couple of... A uh, married porn star couple, Jesse Jackman and Dirk Tabor. They're both um, Titan Media porn stars. Yep. And they shared their coming out stories. Um, coming out stories in the sense of coming out um, as gay, and that's what, that's what Jesse Jackman's story is. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's interesting because he had to go through a, a gay conversion therapy at one stage, but it never wow. worked for him, obviously. Mm-hmm. And wow. Dirk Tabor is really interesting because he was t- sharing his coming out story, coming out to his parents as a porn star. Yes. Um, wow, okay. So... It's it, it probably one of the quirkiest stories we've ever written, but um, it's actually quite a the, the contrast in their coming out stories is quite um, quite is quite quite a good read. And, and of course, something a little bit closer to home, uh, going from last week the the transphobic bashing in in Newtown, two men have been charged. Yeah, yeah, two men uh, will face court next month, uh, charged with connection with an assault on a trans woman uh, named Stephanie McCarthy, mm-hmm. um, and. Yeah, so police have confirmed that uh, you know, the two men were um, arrested and uh, one was charged with recklessly inflicting grievous bodily harm um, and the other one was charged with affray. Yeah. And they're, they're both being granted conditional bail and will face court on the 9th of July. And has, um, has anything happened with the, 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 the Newtown Club? The uh because they, they just sort of, in the reports, it was they sort of stood around and let it happen and, and didn't do anything. Has anything happened with them? Uh, as far as, at, at, at this stage, I'm not sure. Uh, the, the club did cop a lot of uh, criticism. Um, yeah, only through social media, nothing, nothing. N- yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and even though the, the club did defend itself on Facebook to say that it did that it did aim to provide a safe and inclusive venue for all members of the community. Um, but after that, um, I, I don't know if... Uh, I mean, they did say, you know, a recent in- unfortunate incident of yeah. unwarranted violence and stuff like that. They, they put up a, something like that to, to reinstate their, um, their support for the community and, and for diversity. Oh, so a bit, uh, bit of PR but whether action. the club has actually done anything practical to make sure it doesn't happen again... I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, it's just a Facebook media post to reassert that they're friends of the community. Yeah, a bit of a, bit of a PR wank fest. Yeah. Uh, now let's yeah, jump over. <laughs> let's jump over to Mexico. What's happening there? Uh, Mexico. Um, just recently, I think last week, the Supreme Court, which is the highest level court in Mexico, um, declared that you know having marriage restricted to just heterosexual couples is un- is unconstitutional. 
Um, and that, is, although the, the ruling never explicitly said gay marriage is allowed, uh, it can be interpreted that, you know, same-sex marriage, it's basically paved the way for same-sex marriage all over Mexico. Wow. Um, and it's really interesting because Mexico is a staunchly Catholic country. Mm-hmm. It's the second largest Latin American country after Brazil, and it borders America, and it, it comes straight after when Ireland did some uh, legalized gay marriage with a referendum, and Greenland uh, legalized uh, gay, gay marriage uh, through, uh, uh, through lawmakers in Parliament. So Mexico um, striking down uh, the gay marriage ban, basically, yeah. um, across the country uh, is quite uh, is a bit of a quite mem- quite momentous because um, it, it, they beat the USA to the punch. The USA is waiting for an impending Supreme Court decision on whether you know gay marriage is, unconstit- is unconstitutional or not and whatnot. Mm. Um, where Mexico just did it quietly last week and it didn't really achieve much fanfare, but I think it's a pretty big deal. Yeah, yeah. go the Mexicans. And well, there we have it. That's what's been happening this week mm-hmm. in LGBTI yeah. news. Ilias, thank you so much. Of course, starobserver.com.au for your daily news and pick up your copy of this month's, or j- the July edition of Star Observer magazine from uh, in- any of the wonderful places that that hold the magazine throughout the month. Ilias, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you.